This is Press here, and today I will be showing five game breaking glitches and exploits that can change the outcome of a match. These really are game changing and must be fixed, so let's get on with it. Starting off with the map March on Stormbreak, if you call in a wasp and then go to the back of the right side helipad, you can hover your wasp over the helipad and fly it to the right side of the helipad and then begin to descend. As you descend, you will completely exit the map and you can fly virtually anywhere under the map as long as you know where all the death barriers are. To avoid the death barriers, you must fly as high as possible. So why is this such a big deal? You can contest both the armories and even the fortress by doing this. So since this is a very easy glitch to do, it virtually makes it impossible for the other team to counter. This glitch is symmetrical and can work on both bases. Moving on to the next exploit, it is a very similar glitch, but instead on Battle of Noctis. This time, you get a wasp, fly it to the very back helipad, hover over one of the sides, and then descend under the map. From there, you can virtually go anywhere on the map, and you can even fly to one of the garages where you can contest it from under the vehicle bay. It can be done on both sides, and again, there is nothing to counter it. Next, I'm going to cover two separate exploits on Attack on Sanctum. The first being on the red side garage vehicle bay. If you stand on a specific spot in the red garage vehicle bay, you can contest the garage from outside without the other team even knowing you're outside of the garage. This one can obviously be countered, but it's extremely unbalanced because the blue side does not have the same option. Moving on to the second Sanctum exploit, this one can't be countered. Again, it requires a wasp, you fly it into the temple, and you fly it to an exact spot right next to the closed lift side and exit the wasp. This glitch will put the player through the wall and now they are invincible and can test the temple. Lastly, this is a smaller glitch, but should be a very easy and quick fix. And what's interesting about it is that it's relatively new and only popped up recently after an update this year. But basically, on both the maps Stormbreak and Noctis, the red side team does not need to clear their core room of their enemy AI in order to leave the shield door. You can just run right through it after you drop from the Pelican. This gives the red team a 5 to 10 second advantage over the blue team. Oh, and one more thing before I conclude this video, I released an exploit video last week showcasing how you can core the enemy team by arc lighting the core if someone drives you inside of their core room. Well, it's much worse than that. You can actually use all those boss methods that I showed on this video to get into the core with an arc light by yourself without any help and you can core the enemy team. This needs to be fixed. Alright, so that sums up the video. These are the main glitches and exploits that I know about, but I've also heard there's a few others, including a one on Skirmish at Darkstar where you can get a wasp and contest the fortress, but I have no idea how you can do that. I just really hope this video informed a lot of people on what big balancing issues exist in Warzone, and hope they'll be eventually fixed. It will make Warzone a much more fun and balanced experience for the whole community. And until next time, everyone.